Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. So this was during my graduation days. I was very active in a temple in my hometown. So there we used to read Ramayana on every full moon day, every month. It starts at like six in the morning and will go till the next day morning. And it was like a relay. One person reciting for one to two hours and then someone else taking over. So I was part of the reciting group and it was a great experience. So we had a microphone and loudspeakers and everyone in the vicinity of the temple could hear it. So one day I asked one of my mentors there, like, why are we doing this? Like, and, and specifically, why during the full moon? He said, you know, during full moon days, we experience a lot of emotions, strong emotions. And there's a connection between moon and emotions, right? So he explained that Ramayana, with its many characters, mirrors the range of human emotions. Just as the characters in the Ramayana face different emotional challenges, so we all experience a lot of emotions. So even after like thousands of years, these emotions have not changed. Only the setting, the context has changed. So while reading Ramayana, by seeing the world through Rama's eyes, we gain insights into how to navigate these challenging situations and emotions in our everyday life. And if you look at it, it's not just the story, right? Every page is filled with life philosophies, life lessons, values, and wisdom. And this is something personal to me. Even today, after many years, many decades actually, when I encounter some situation, some of these lines from Ramayana pop up in my mind and it provides me with you know, some insight on how to handle those situations gracefully. And later in my life, when I studied emotional intelligence, positive psychology, and all this stuff, I realized Rama's EQ was very high. His emotional intelligence was very high. In today's system shots, I want to connect Daniel Goldman's emotional intelligence framework with Rama's journey. So let's start. So according to the definition, emotional intelligence is your ability to recognize, understand and manage your own emotions. Plus, understand and influence the emotions of others. Okay, this is the simplest definition. According to Daniel Goldman, there are five dimensions of emotional intelligence. Self-awareness, self-regulation, empathy, motivation, and social skills. So let's start with self-awareness. Self-awareness involves recognizing and understanding one's own emotions. Right? So Rama demonstrates high level of self-awareness in, in various instances. There is this fight with Tataka during his youth. He is very well aware of his capabilities, even at that age. Rama's participation in Sita Swamparam, it's a significant episode, showcasing his self-awareness level. He was confident, he knew his potential. At the same time, he was humble enough. Obeying his father's command, you know, Rama's acceptance of his father's decision without any resentment or any rebellious act, demonstrates his understanding of dharma, duty. He's aware of the impact of his actions on his family and the kingdom and he prioritized the greater good over personal desires. Self-regulation in emotional intelligence involves your ability to manage and control your emotions, impulses and behaviors. When Rama encounters Shurpanaka, who is infatuated with him, he doesn't respond with aggression or anger. You know, he maintains composure and he handles the situation really well. So one of the most emotionally challenging moments for Rama is the decision to leave Sita after her return from Lanka. So despite his love for Sita, Rama makes this difficult choice for the greater good of his kingdom. And his ability to regulate his personal emotions separating them from his duty as a king, you know, shows high level of self-regulation as a leader. Empathy in emotional intelligence involves understanding and sharing the feelings of others. Rama displays a high level of empathy in various situations. When Rama meets Shabari, an elderly woman who has been waiting for years to meet him, despite her humble background and the simple fruit she offers, Rama appreciates her devotion. Vibhishna, Ravana's brother, seeks support. Rama empathizes with him. 
with his internal conflict and despite being related to ravana rama accepts vibhishna recognizing his sincere intentions that's empathy motivation in the context of emotional intelligence involves the ability to inspire oneself and others to achieve a goal so rama and his team faced a tough challenge during their search for sita but rama was highly motivated and he influenced everyone in the mission and to reach lanka rama faced this big challenge of crossing the ocean and he didn't have any resources and his team again was a set of monkeys with low competence but nothing stopped him rama helped hanuman to unleash his true potential and that is a sign of a true leader so when you have an ocean of challenges and limited resources you think of rama and he proved to the world that where there is a will there is a way nothing is impossible and if you are motivated enough if the need is strong if you are truthful you can overcome any challenges that's what rama shows the last one is social skills and social skills is all about interact effectively interacting with others building relationships and navigating social situations so during his exile rama skillfully builds alliances with the different groups especially the army led by sukriva he understands the importance of collaboration and he forms strategic partnerships to achieve common goals right rama consistently displays respect and courtesy towards everyone he encounters whether interacting with sages common men or you know warriors in the team he treats them with dignity and and politeness see what i just highlighted are few instances but if you thoroughly go through ramayana you'll realize that ramayana has a master class on emotional intelligence the emotions rama and other characters felt thousands of years back it's the same thing what we experience even today the only thing the setting has changed so to conclude Rama and Sita's life was not easy. It was tough. But they came to earth to teach all of us a lesson on how to live gracefully when life is tough. That's it. Now the word Rama means Ra means light Rama means light the light within. So let the story of Rama serve as a guiding light within all of us. Like like Rama let's face every situation with grace, resilience. and an unwavering commitment to values and principles so may the blessings of lord rama be with you always thank you so much for watching i am sridh krishna stay happy stay healthy